What is up guys, it is me Opar and welcome back to the fan journey, I'm here on Poolandia and today I've got quite a few things I need to show off. Um, so first of all, there's this thing that is in my room, it's very disgusting and gross and I want to get rid of it, so I'm recording to get rid of it. And it says, Dear Sopara, we found that, we found that haven't be had a bath in a while and figured you could use some soap. So we brought you some of the best soap to away that salt. And make sure you're nice and clean from Four Bird, Rainbow, Maybe Miners. Oh, and Prime helped. And Prime, he helped too. Remember, this isn't a prank, it's an intervention. So, uh. Oh, yeah, there's a few people now with uh, with the name Oparas. So there's Opara, there's Opara's accent, Opara's man bun. It's also Opara's mustache. You guys will get to see that a bit more later on, uh, unfortunately. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff, because this is just disgusting and it's ruining my room. Okay. Um, so apparently, they think I can't, I can't get rid of that one. Dang it. I guess I'm just going to have to keep this as a prank, not an intervention. Um... And they also said that I should go outside and check out something outside. And I've noticed that, even though it's daytime, it's quite dark on the other side out here. It seems a bit darker. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Oh. That's so beautiful. Is that it? Is that what they wanted me to see? The Articuno? They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is so cool! Articuno! Oh my gosh! It's so well made! And there's a book, Articuno by Allstar. What? Articuno, Pokemon number 100. Oh, it's got the full, like, Pokey Index and what it says in the Pokedex. That's so cool and relevant because I just recorded a new series. Um, that you guys are all oh, out. Oh, ow. Oh, ow, indeed. Um. I don't. Why is it so dark? What? Like, honestly, why is it so dark? And what the heck's this pink stuff? Why is there pink glass just all over the place? It's, it's ugly. Is that what they mean by go outside? Because there's pink glass everywhere I don't get it I don't get what the pink glass is meant to be wait what the f uh, so, so part it's, it's a giant it's a giant thing of soap is that why it's so dark around here because you're fucking blocking out my son that's really not very soap like looking it's bugging me that it's not like perfectly round there and perfectly round and perfectly round and i want it to be oh hi i want it to be perfectly round oh <laughs> look at my old para yeah um one thing <coughs> there are a few things that all of you guys have been saying well, not all of you guys, but quite a few of you guys. I'm going to give you some more clues, of course. Um, each episode, like before, I give a better and better clue. I'm not just going to give you the perfect clue straight away, guys. That's not how these things work. But everyone's asking, where do I get the keys? The very first episode that I announced this challenge, I showed you guys where to get the key. I walked straight from my base to the area that you get the key. Um, and so, if you guys are asking that then obviously you haven't watched the right video so I suggest doing that um, and okay another clue now most of you guys know where my base is um, but still I'm gonna not give up the coordinates because you guys still have to find it however from my base so if I go slash home bed um, so from the space Basically, I want... There's an all-star in my room. Uh, from this base, basically what you have to do... Why is it so dark in here? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. From this base, 
what you have to do is the x coordinate is one wait no two thousand in either direction so within where my base is from here you got to press f3 and 2000 from x in either direction and the z coordinate is 4000 4000 4000 in either core either direction okay so that's kind of giving you a wee rectangle of where to look so if you've gone one 2000 in the x direction then you've gone too far okay so you guys have to figure that out and from there you will be able to search around that area until you find it okay it's a pretty big area it's pretty rough and you guys will eventually find it and figure it out but for now that is your main clue so there's a clue um and now what i wanted to actually do that's not the warp is i'm not meant to warp home outside is i actually want to create something here and show you guys how to make something cool so I'm um, just gonna open up this this wee place over here and I'll close it off see I've now changed it so like you can open it and close it with the buttons which is very helpful um, <coughs> now in here this is like the arcade area I want to make machines where you put in money and it gives you a prize so I'm gonna work on that just need to figure out where I want it I kind of want to make a wee, wee area down here. Um, oh gosh, I didn't realize that would be that fast. Okay, so I think this area, I need some, I need some stuff. I need a, oh gosh. Okay, just whilst I, I'm just going to quickly pop away and get all this stuff ready. What you guys want to do is place two hoppers going into each other into a chest right okay that is your first step you want to go along down to here like that um so you've got these things i need a redstone comparator which i don't actually have on me okay so once you've got your we uh, your three stone you got three stone you get the the, the 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 nether quartz that you always had and you get the redstone torches and that makes a comparator okay so what you need to do is you need to place the comparator here right uh, if there are items in here, which there shouldn't be, but there is because uh, Mario threw stuff at me, it will detect stuff. And then you um, you bring that along to there, like that. I'm not I'm not going to do that one just yet because I'm not sure if that's meant to be the block or the... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure there. I think that's... So next you get a redstone torch here, and then you get a block, and you get a redstone torch here, I believe. And that should turn off the redstone torch. So that's that. I'm really good at explaining things. I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial. Um, and what you do, you need your dropper. You put your dropper where you want it. So I want the dropper. I'm going to put that there. I want the dropper up here. Oh, okay. So you put the dropper where you want it. I want the dropper right there. Uh, you break that. Get rid of that. Um, and then you just simply make a wee path into well that's what i do i don't know about others but that's what i do i just make a wee path into the dropper uh you put a bunch of prizes in there okay you, you put whatever you want into here whatever you think might be a good prize that's not a good pro actually is that the empty i think it's just an empty book you just put whatever i'm just gonna put oh i don't want to get rid of that just put whatever you think you want people to win okay so then what you do is you put in here you go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. All of that. So that's your cost, right? That's what you think this costs, okay? Uh, I think that's all set up, actually. I think it's all set up. I think I just made it. Oh, my God. Okay, so you've done all this. You've set it all up. The last thing you need to do is slash unlock, okay? Okay. So you got to unlock that chest so that it can accept items, okay? It's not going to accept these because it's not getting told... The hopper is not getting told to accept it yet. But you put this in. Did it? It pops it out. And in here should be... Yeah, there is your sea lantern. And so you can throw in as many sea lanterns as you want. And you'll continuously get a prize. And yeah, 
that's basically how you make it. Once you've done that, you can make it look all pretty how you would like, uh, how you'd like it to look. I don't know how you'd want it to look. Um, personally, my personal preference is just like that, and then I get a bit of glass if I can find a way to get some glass. Do I, have some? I don't have any sand on me right now, and I need to stop cooking this. Um, I just get like three pieces of glass because it still shoots out through it. Um, but then people can't just go, oh, look, there's all the prizes. I'm going to take them all. Um, but yeah, so there's my personal way of making it. You guys will have your own way, your own style. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys today. I'm going to make a few more of these. And if you come to my base, you can do some wee gambling. A pyro proofs gambling. 2015. Well, no. That's not entirely true. I'm actually going to put this along here like this. And the good thing about this, guys, just so you know, is they can put in whatever they want, but it won't sell. It won't be thrown out unless it's the prize block thing. Um, also, I don't think... Hmm. I'm just wondering, do you guys think that's the best place to put it? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But that is the basic way to do it. Two hoppers into a chest, an unlocked chest. You got your comparator, you got the five redstone, going one, two, three, four, sorry, four redstone, into a block. In that, On that block on the other side is a redstone torch. On top of that redstone torch is a block. And on that block is a redstone torch. And then a, a path towards a dropper, so the dropper can shoot out the prize. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below because it tells me that you guys are enjoying the stuff that I make. Leave a comment. Are you guys going to make this or are you guys going to use it once you find the space to win awesome prizes? But as always, guys, I will thank you. I will thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next episode of whatever I make. Stay safe, fam. See ya!